So I guess, uh, how would you kind of describe this season, kind of the ups and downs, and just getting the opportunity to get out there and play? Uh, i say this season's been great. You know, uh, a learning experience, I would say, uh, just from the the business side of things and then the, the on the court and stuff. So it's been great. I, I got to learn a lot. To be a guy who came in kind of like, you know, the last guy maybe to make the roster mm -hmm. and go from no minutes to cult figure over the course of a season, what was that like as a rookie? Man, it was crazy. It was like a, a huge transition for sure. Uh, but it was. But I'm just grateful for the opportunity, and I'm just thankful that you know, I, I did get to show what I can do. Do you uh, expect to play in summer league? This yeah, year? I do. What do you think are some of the things that you're going to work on throughout the off season and or in summer league this year to improve? Uh, definitely become a more consistent shooter, and just working on my all around game, everything. How much of the last couple of months was you trying to figure out when to take your shot, kind of figuring out? Mm -hmm. when you pass, when you shoot, all yeah, just uh, just want to find a rhythm in the game and find your spots. So I know I'm playing with uh, you know more talented guys. I get get off the ball and and find a spot on the court that I feel comfortable and I'm able to make plays at. So it's more just finding your spots on the court. What do you think the the biggest adjustment you had to make as far as learning the NBA game and what mm -hmm. you got to do? Uh. I mean, I'll just say, like, uh, just becoming more dedicated to it. This is your job now, so, you know, you got to do stuff on your own sometimes. And uh, you got to watch film and, you know, just continue to, to grow and learn as a player. So that's what I'm trying to do. Kenrich, did you even surprise yourself maybe this year? Because you were undrafted. Mm -hmm. You know, you had a tough time of just trying to make the team. You were against, like, at least two or three other guys out of training camp. But staying here now in front of us, mm -hmm. do you, are you feeling even a little bit surprised or you want to give yourself a pat on the back for what you did this year? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I mean, I would, but I mean, I was I was more just always just ready. I stayed ready. Uh, so if you stay ready, you can't be surprised. So uh, and I just stay ready. Uh, stay ready for my moment. Those guys like you coming in and making that adjustment when you didn't have a traditional point guard on the floor for a lot of chunks of the season. Mm -hmm. How hard is that to kind of make that, make the offense work when you're still learning it and not having experienced people guiding? Yeah, I mean, it's tough uh, not having everybody out there, uh, you know. But uh, also for, for a point guard running the team, is you got to rally the team and, and get everybody on, 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 their, on the track. So, you know, I say it, it was tough, but, you know, we was able to push through it. How much of the success that you had this year, or the confidence that you had, was you think was based on the confidence that the coaching staff had in you in the front office. It seemed like throughout the season, after you started playing, they made a lot of comments about um, you just being like a winning player that makes winning plays. How much of a factor do you think that was to help you? Oh, it was, it was definitely, uh, it was definitely huge. Uh, you know, you get that confidence from the, from other players and the coaches. Uh, you know, it just gives you that much much more uh, confidence, and you're able to go out there and just play comfortably and, and play hard. So. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate, Thank you. It. Appreciate it.